Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan, Mackby, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. I'm interested today in Mark chapter number 6, verse 45 through 48, and you know these verses, I'm sure. Let me read them. And straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida uh, while he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. And when even was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in rowing, for the wind was contrary to them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed them by. Now, you know the story and how that it progresses from there. But I want to point something out here. In verse 47, the end of verse 47, then the beginning of verse 48, the Bible said that he, Jesus, was alone on the land and that he, Jesus, saw them, the disciples, toiling in rowing. Now, a couple of what I think are legitimate questions that I thought about. First of all, if he saw them toiling in rowing, why didn't he just pray for them? I mean, think about it. If he had just prayed for them from the shore soon as he saw them, wouldn't his prayer have been answered and they have gotten help sooner? Why didn't he just pray for them? Why didn't he just calm the seas from the shore? Wouldn't the seas and the winds have obeyed his word from the shore just as well as from the boat? Wouldn't either one of those scenarios, if he had prayed for them or if he had calmed the seas, said the word from the shore... Wouldn't either one of those have solved the situation sooner? Wouldn't that have stilled the storm in their lives sooner? I would think the obvious answer is yes. But Jesus is going to do things in ways that will bring him the most glory. You can about mark it down. By and large, he's going to do things in such a way that will bring him maximum glory. And he's going to do things differently from time to time to demonstrate his multiplicity of power. So, what's the lesson for us to learn here? In application in our life, it may cost us when Jesus does things a little differently from time to time in our lives, or whenever he tarries a little bit, doesn't work as quickly at other times. It may cost us a little. It may cause us to be in the storm a little bit longer. But in the end, We'll make it to the other side in verse 53. We'll be out of the ship in verse 54. And we will know that it was him in verse number 54. You may not know how. And you may not know when. But he'll do it again. Sooner or later. Well, that's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day. And remember, it is what it is.